Oh my god, is that a body? What? What are you talking about? That's, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. God. Well, 911, there's a body on the street. Yes, there's a body. Were you the two that found the body? Yes, we saw it right there. Okay, was he dead on arrival? I assume so. I wasn't going to check that thing. I wasn't touching okay. that. Well, I'm going to have to bring you two in for interrogations because you're Interrogation? Why? We didn't even do anything. Well, you guys found the body, so you couldn't possibly suspect. Are you serious? But I'm calling my lawyer. I'm a death. Eight o'clock. There is a roof key here. He must have fallen off the roof. And there is blood on the back. There's blood on the back, so it must have been a struggle. Oh, this man is missing a shoe as well. He must have lost in the struggle at the top, and now we must take fingerprints. Now we must collect some hair from the uh, cards that were left around in the blood. And now we must go check the roof for any more evidence. Time is 8.30. There's a shoe on the roof, so uh, the victim was missing a shoe as well. Yeah, this must be a shoe. Victim is Jalen Bartley, age 17. Lungs indicate that he is a smoker. Found DOA at Clarksburg High School. His core body temperature has dropped approximately 1.5 degrees Celsius, which indicates his time of death to be 7 a.m. Uh, multiple stab wounds to the chest and abdomen. The stab wounds correspond to the ridges found on the knife in the victim. Please state your first and last name. Daniel Lowe. Where were you June 1st at 8 a.m.? I was walking at Foster High School with Destiny. We were just walking outside. Are you affiliated with any gangs? No, I'm not. Do you recognize this Austin? <laughs> no, I do not, but maybe I've seen it before. It's a pretty common knife in the cafeteria. Have you committed any crimes in the past? I've been a book by right to make silent. Have you ever been on the roof of Parsonry High School? No, I've not been on the roof before. Did you recognize the victim when you found him at the outside of the school? No, he was face down. I still know who it is. By the way? Well, his name was Jay Bartley. It was Jay? Yes. Who killed him? So you're familiar with Jay? Yes, I know him. You know him or you know of him? I know him. He was a friend of mine. Okay, thank you. Please state your first and last name. Destiny you where were you June 1st at 8 a.m.? I was walking around school. Are you affiliated with any gangs? No, I'm not. Do you recognize this plastic knife? No, I don't think so. I've never seen it. Have you committed any crimes in the past? No. Have you ever been on the roof of Clarksburg High School? Yeah, I go up there in the mornings to take care of the garden. Did you see anything unusual this morning? No, it's just the usual thing. And what time did you come down from the roof? Uh, just a little before 8 a.m. Did you recognize the victim when you found him? No, I don't think I've seen him anymore. Two eyewitnesses placed you by the roof, they saw you by the roof around 8 a.m. So I'm going to ask you the following questions. Please state your first and last name. Iman Zeng. Where were you June 1st at 8 a.m.? I, I 
remember. Okay. Are you affiliated with any gangs? No. Do you recognize this plastic knife, which was the murder weapon? No, that doesn't look like it could be a murder weapon. Okay. Have you committed any crimes in the past? No. Have you ever been on the roof of Park Spirit High School? I I go up there sometimes. Yeah. Do you know who the victim was? His name was Jay Barkley. Do you recognize that name? Yes. He... I... I don't have any relationship with him. He, I don't interact with people who do drugs, smoke, or the environment in any way. All the evidence here that is that was collected was transferred to me from the crime scene, as well the chain of custody. We have one hair sample from the crime scene, as well as fingerprints from the suspect and from the crime scene. For the hair sample, we will do gel electrophoresis, and we will need to let this sit once we have put it in. Okay, we will come back when it is finished. Alright, the gel electrophoresis has finished and the results have come back positive that the hair sample matches that of our third suspect, Yvonne Zhang. As for the fingerprints, the ridges on the fingerprint collected from the crime scene perfectly matches the third fingerprint that was collected from our suspect, Yvonne Zhang. Thus, we can conclude that the murderer was Yvonne. Hey, you're not supposed to be up here. Excuse me? You're not supposed to be up here. Nobody told me otherwise. Well, I'm telling you now. It doesn't matter. I'm going to be up here if I want to. Hey. I don't know. The body. Um, I don't know where I am. <laughs> okay, was that enough stabs? <laughs> no. Multiple stab wounds to the chest and abdomen. Stab wounds on the knife correspond to the visuals. I was thinking about the Asian question last night. Yeah, you know. What were you on June 1st after? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were screaming. <laughs> you were so <laughs> You started to grin. <laughs> You're grinning. You missed the last name. You know what? Stop it. Am I doing anything? I'm not doing it. Just down by Park High School. Are you a fan? I'm holding you. You're starting to clip me down. <laughs> a little wild, right? <laughs> in the past? No. Wait, what? <laughs> Have you? Let me start that. No. Are you? You can't. I can't do this. Are we not doing those? The scene? Oh.